Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I am here today with my Young, Wild and Cruelty Free Project Pan update. I am doing this in collab with my friend Andrea. I will link her down below. You should definitely go check her out. And the basics of this is we are trying to pan until we feel comfortable with our collections being more cruelty free. Now, I am starting to not really run out of items, but you know, doing this for over a year, yeah, you kind of... The, the number I can choose from is getting lower. The thing I, the thing is, most of what I have now is like a little bit of skincare, a little bit of makeup, and most of the makeup I have at this point is stuff that's harder to pan. Like I have a bunch, I have a chunk of lip products that I might be decluttering to my, my not my cousin, but my niece, so that, you know, they don't all go bad, or my, you know, non-cruelty free products don't go bad. And I have a lot of nail polish, so this might accidentally turn into a project polish at some point. Or not accidentally, but not on purpose turn into one. But we still have some stuff now, so I can keep rolling stuff in and it not all be nail polish, considering I am really bad about painting my nails. Also, I mentioned this in my Child of the 80s project pan, but in case you don't watch that and watch this, which you should watch both, if you like project panning anyway, um, I have pretty bad ear infection right now. That's why I haven't filmed in the last couple of days. I know last week it was an eye issue and this week it's my ears. I've never had an ear infection before in my life though. So this has been utterly, utterly miserable. I've been to the doctor and everything. It's, it's all good. I just have to get it to go away. Like I can't even really hear out of this ear. It's awesome. I, I now understand why babies scream bloody murder when they get them because that's all I've wanted to do since Wednesday is scream bloody murder. Ugh, that's not what you guys are here for though. <laughs> Anyways, I have two empties that have been a long time coming. First is the Avon Advanced Techniques Reconstruction 7 Intense Recovery Mask. This was an amazing hair mask. I'm sad that they don't make it anymore, much less that I can purchase it or not, but... She is done. She is cleaned out. There is like this tiny bit that is like congealed at the bottom, but that's not even enough to do like one strip of my hair. Its weight went from 73.6 grams to 36.2, and we started at 259.7, so this took me about seven months to finish, which there was at least one month in there where I didn't use it at all because I was working on something else, but five solid months maybe even up to six of actual like product which for my thick ass hair I know I don't let it get too long usually before I end up cutting it that's pretty impressive to me I can go through some deep conditioner and the other thing I have there's a little bit of product you can see in here but I can't get it to come out so I'm not worried about it this is the Bath and Body Works Pretty as a Peach 24 hour moisture body lotion last time we were here and I managed to use the rest of it up this took a little longer than expected to. I figured I would have it done in... I figured I would have it done in four months and it took me five, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. I do have stuff that I'm rolling in for that. I'll talk about that at the end. But first, let's talk about my blush because I rolled out the Benefit Bella Bomb, although once I'm done with this one, I'm going to roll it back in. This is the Wet n Wild Ombre Blush in the shade in a purple haze. So. Here's what it looked like last time. Here is what it looks like now. Now, my goal in rolling out one blush or the other is that I really hope that I can finish this before the end of the year. I'm not entirely certain that will happen. I might finish into finishing it in the first couple of months of 2022. But if I finish two blushes next year, I will not be mad at that. But this one is going a lot faster than the Bella Bomba one did. So its weight went from 35.3 grams to 34.8. I need to start working on this down here and then probably repress it next month. We'll see how that goes. It's already been repressed once before. I actually added in a little bit of purple for my Urban Decay. I don't remember what they're called, but it was the Bittersweet Blush. It was like the bright purple one. I'll put in a quick picture of it. They don't make them anymore, unfortunately, but I still have that. But I actually took some out of that blush and put it in here because initially this was like purple and like almost a light pink to white. I had used up most of the purple. So 
I'm actually wearing a pur lavendery purple lipstick under it today to kind of give it a bit more oomph. But we'll see where I get with this by the end of the year. If I don't finish it, it's okay. It's just makeup, but I really want to finish this. Next is a, a nail polish. Like I said, it's a lot of what I have left. This is the Essie Nail Polish in Rock at the Top. I used it once in the last month, but I was able to make a new mark. And here is what it looks like. If I really kind of want to finish this by the end of the year, which means I really need to get a move on it and paint my damn nails more often. So we'll see about that. But I'm sure once it gets to like down here and I can't get to it anymore, I'll probably just call it quits like I always do on nail polish. This is a figure. Once I get to that part, that's more than enough for me. But we'll see where I can get to by the end of the year. Next is something that I have not used, I will admit. It is the Thirst Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I'm working on a different body moisturizer that should be done this month and then I can get started on this. I am actually probably going to decant this into a little pot of some variety so I can add some highlighter to it and get my, you know, two for one bang for my buck of using up both a lotion and a little bit of a highlighter. So. Once I do that though, I will like weigh it rather than just the mark on the back right there. And finally, before we get into new stuff, I apparently didn't write, write it down in the list, but uh, I have a weight for it, so that's good. Uh, we have the Suave Professional Naturals Dry Shampoo. Once I finish, I have like, one thing I have is like four Suave Dry Shampoos, so dry shampoos will be in here for a while. Uh, this one went from 99.0 grams to 72.2. I actually used it today. But uh, yeah, it feels pretty light. If I actually use it a few times in the next month, I should be able to finish this and roll a new one in, which would be good. But uh, my two new products, one of them is a collection of products, but all of these are so small that I didn't want to roll them in one at a time. So I just, this is my collection of minis that aren't cruelty free like skincare minis. So we have, and they're all just coming in as one product. I will only replace it once I use up all of them. Now I'm already using this. This should probably, this should definitely be done by next month. Sorry, that is my hair. This is the Origins Ginseng Into the Glow Brightening Serum. It's actually really nice. I love Origins. I wish they were cruelty free. Speaking of Origins, I also have a Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. This is actually relatively new. It came with like a skincare set from an Ulta what's it called? Um, like one of those freebie seven piece things that they do fairly often. I got this as a add-on and a swap, like they just threw it in as an extra. It's the Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. I know I can use that, no problem. We have, I think I got this one the same way I got the Origin Mask, the Lancome Hydrazen Moisturizing Cream Gel. I have one remaining Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharge. I used up one of these earlier this year. It's a lot of moisturizers. I'm so bummed if this isn't cruelty free. I actually Googled it just to make sure right before filming, but it's not. It's the Belief the True Cream Aqua Balm. This was something that I do love, but finding gel moisturizers isn't that hard these days. So, and one that I'm not sure of, but I threw it in here, so I guess I'll just go ahead and use it up as well. The Mask Bar Silver Foil Peel Off Mask. I'm trying to move peel off masks out of my collection anyway, so this could be a part of this, whether it's actually cruelty free or not. If it's not, I'll take it out and put it into something else, but I'm hoping to use that this month as well. So that equals one, two, three, seven items. So once I finish these seven items, this spot will be done. And the other thing I have is I just just about used up the makeup wipes that I have been using because I got them with an Ipsy bag. I figured I could finally work on these. These are, this is a refill. I used up the other pack of them way long ago, but I've, all, I've had this one. I even moved with it. That's how long I've had it. It's the Olay Daily Facials Deeply Purifying Clean 5-in-1 Cleansing, you know, pad. It's powered for makeup remover, scrub, toner, mask cleanser, yada, yada, yada. I mostly use these as a face cleanser and makeup remover in one, although I don't like using it on my eyes. So I will continue to use the 
oil makeup remover on my eyes, but basically they are, you know, these little wipes that you that you get with water, they foam up and you use them to clean, clean off your face. There are 33 in this pack. I will, oh, I will probably only be using these on nights that I wear makeup just because I feel like they're kind of a waste otherwise. So I'm sure this will take me like two to three months to use up going by my makeup wearing habits. Hopefully less, but being realistic. So that will be in here for at least till the end of the year. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!